Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So you guys know I have about 1 million, no, I have no idea how many I have, but I have a lot of glow-in-the-dark pigments. I have a lot of different glitters. I have a lot of different like additives for resin. And I was kind of flipping through them the other day and I was like, oh my God, I wonder what would happen if you mixed all of your glow-in-the-dark pigments together. Like if it would make a different, like a Frankenstein color. Yes. We're gonna go full Safia and Tyler and just mix everything of a thing and see what happens. See if I can come up with a Franken color, Frankenstein color of glow in the dark pigment and then mix it into resin and see what happens. I don't even know if it's still gonna glow in the dark. I imagine it should, right? Like if all of the pigments glow in the dark, I feel like it should still work. I do have a bunch of different colored glow in the dark pigments. It's not just like, glow in the dark green or glow in the dark yellow or blue like I have like pinks and I have all different colors so we're gonna get started on mixing every single glow in the dark pigment that I own together into one cup and then we're gonna mix it into some resin and see what happens hello it is future artsy and I am here to tell you that I accidentally <laughs> deleted <laughs> some clips some vital clips from this video so we're just gonna redo them now i have sean though so it's kind of upgraded you're welcome Place the clip. <laughs> all right so we are gonna get started on mixing these pigments together so here we go look at all of these oh and these and then these that was the best way to show you guys <laughs> yes we're gonna organize them by color so all of these in these like little tube things are from Amazon. They're like a little kit. I'll link it down in the description. I've got two from Counterculture DIY and then the rest are from Solar Color Dust. We have literally a single red. A single red. It's Dark. more of a salmon. I know no, it says doesn't. Red. Okay, on that camera it does. <laughs> on this one, it also, d in real life, this does not look like salmon. Then we have three pinks. We have one peachy color and then three oranges. We have two yellows. We have three, oh, we have, wait, five greens? Well, these are, I think, the same. Oh, thing. wow. Okay, so four greens. We don't need both. <laughs> we have a couple of lighter blue colors, which I guess we're putting next to green. And then we have three blue colors. Four purples. <laughs> Four purples. So this is the full rainbow of um, glow in, um, of um. So this is the full rainbow of glow in the dark pigments that I have. 23. 23. Mixing 23 pigments together. Also, just to know, we are mixing together the rainbow of glow in the dark pigments. Like it's not just a few colors. Like this is the full rainbow. All right, so we have a cup and it is empty as well. So I have this little. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have a little glitter spoon, so we're gonna start by scooping one scoopy of each color into this cup. So we got one scoop of red, one scoop of pink taffy, one scoop of cotton candy, one scoop of invisible hot pink, one scoop of apricot, one scoop of gold, one scoop of orange, orange, <laughs> orange, A R N G. We have like a weird way of talking. I'm sure a bunch of couples have like this weird way of talking sometimes and that was it. It just comes out randomly. One scoop of orange sickle, one scoop of lemon, another scoop of lemon, just a different brand. One scoop of Kelly, Kelly Green, I'm assuming. Hopefully not the individual. <laughs> one scoop of Kelly dust, one scoop of invisible green, one scoop of kiwi, one scoop of lightning bug, one scoop of teal, one scoop of sky, one scoop of invisible aqua, one scoop of blue luminous, one scoop of blue, one scoop of invisible indigo. That sounds like such a pretty color, like on its own. Yep. One scoop of invisible violet, one scoop of grape, and lastly we got one scoop of violet. <gasps> Look at it from the side. Gorgeous. You know what it looks like is those um, images of like Pluto or whatever. Yes. And then the side of it looks so cool too because you can see the different like layers. All right. So what we're going to do next is mix all this together and see what color we get. Do you have any guesses? Well, we are from the future, so we do know 
a thing or two. We kind of know what happens. I also think I kind of remember my guess, though. And I think I was going to suggest, like, a dark greenish. Like, almost brownish green. Oh, yeah. I definitely thought it was going to turn brown. Yeah. All right. So we're going to get started. I'm mixing this. Look how cool that looks. It's definitely on the peachy, like orangey side, but I think it's brown too, yeah. which makes sense because I feel like that's kind of what you get when you mix all of the colors of the rainbow together is like a brown or a black, but like a brown or a black glow in the dark. That yeah. sounds so cool. Yeah. So this is the color that we got. It's kind of a peachy brown color. And like I was saying, I feel like a brown glow in the dark would be so cool. So we're gonna mix this into resin, make a couple of pieces and see how it comes out. Like. Yes, this is like a peachy kind of like brown color, you know, as like the face color. But I wonder what color it'll oh, glow, like yeah. if it'll just glow this like orangey brown color. But we'll see what color it actually glows as. So this is actually the exact color. Like when we mix this up the first time in that deleted clip, the unfortunate circumstance of deleting that clip, this is actually the exact color that we got. So there's no difference. So I'm going to send you guys back to the past to see what this looks like when you mix it in resin and what color it actually glows as. All right, so what we're gonna do now that we have this mixed up is I'm gonna mix up some resin really quick and then we're gonna mix this into the resin. I'll pour it into some molds. So I have these like little skeleton hand molds. I'll, I'll try to find what artist I bought these from. I will link these down in the description. I will come back to you guys when I have some resin mixed up and we're ready to mix in this pigment. Cause I don't even know what it's gonna do in the resin, like what it's gonna look like. Yeah, so goodbye. So I have mixed up some resin. We have some casting resin here. It's still just clear. I haven't mixed anything in yet. So we're going to get started on, I guess, just putting some of this in, right? I think so, yeah. Right. So I guess I'll just get like a heaping scoop, right? I think that makes sense. All right, I'm going to do one more scoop. And then we're going to mix this in. Now that it's mixed into the resin, it does look really peachy. It's like kind of a pretty color. Yeah. I'm surprised. Maybe it's because of how many pinks I had. This is the color that we got. It's kind of like a really pretty peachy color, I think. So I'm going to get my mold, and I guess we're just going to pour it in, right? I mean, it makes sense to me. All right. Amazing. I'm very excited. Me too. Yeah? What if it's just a glow-in-the-dark orange? That's pretty sweet. Right? But it's so crazy that like all the blues and the green and the purple. I'm really surprised that it came out so like so pinkish orange. orange. Yeah. yeah. Considering the blue. Okay, so we poured our Franken glow-in-the-dark pigment uh, and resin into all of the molds. So I'm going to let them cure overnight, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So pop them out. All right, you guys, so it is 24 hours later. We're going to pop these out and see if they glow in the dark, and if they do, what color. I also had some extra resin that I mixed up, so I poured one of these i feel like you guys have not seen this since the dawn of artsy mad woman i've had this mold literally forever so i'm kind of excited to see what this looks like again when you pop it out so we're gonna pop these out which i'm so excited i'm hoping that they glow orange like i kind of hope that they do because i think that it would be cool to do you know the little etching of like the bones as black and have them be like cool spooky christmas ornaments or something da -da -da -da. So like I said, this mold does have like etchings into it that look like, you know, the outlines of bones and stuff. So I think we're going to paint those little etchings to make them stand out. So we've also got this one, the peace sign one. So this is what this one looks like. Again, we've got some etchings to paint. And now we're going to pop out the fingers and the palm for this guy. So we've got this. I'll show you 
all together what it looks like when they're all popped out. So I'm going to insert a clip now of what this hand looks like kind of all placed together. It is so cool. So you can definitely see that on the very like peaks of the bones, you can see that like the pigments sunk to the very peaks. So again, I'm wondering if we're going to see some like different colors peeking through like you know, the little particles just, you know, glowing their respective colors. So really quickly off camera, I am going to take one of my paint pens. I'm just going to fill in the like etchings of the bones and then we will see what color they glow because they're going to glow. They're going to glow in the dark. There's no reason that they shouldn't. All right. So we have both of our skeleton hands filled in. They look super cool. So we're going to take them into some dark corner of this place and see if they glow. Okay, you guys, so she peachy, but she glow like green, blue, white. I honestly wasn't expecting that at all. I thought it was going to glow this color or maybe like a lighter color of this, but I thought it was going to be <laughs> this sort of color, like a peachy color. No, it was like, I mean, on camera, when I was recording those clips, I saw it kind of like sort of change color and some of that is you know like my iPhone kind of like trying to correct like the lighting and stuff but it honestly does look green sometimes and then blue other times and then white other other times like it's honestly really weird and it's so cool uh, what I didn't I legitimately I'm kind of like speechless I had no idea I did not know I did not think that <laughs> this was gonna glow like I mixed the rainbow of glow in the dark pigments together like we had every single color not an even amount of each color but we still had at least one of each color from the rainbow we mixed it all together and it created peach but then glows green blue and white how many of you guessed that it was gonna be <laughs> Either, either of the three colors that it did glow as, like green, blue, or white. How many of you guessed that? Because I, I mean, I don't know how many, how many times I need to say it, but I thought it was going to glow peach, but it didn't. So this was quite the experiment. I loved this. I mean, it's, I don't know. Now I'm wondering, like, if I mix certain glow-in-the-dark pigments together, could I get different colors if I mix them together? Probably. I may be doing that in the future. This was fun. This was amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel and follow me literally everywhere. It is at Artsy Madwoman. I love you guys to absolute death. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. I thought somebody was literally walking in just now. But it's, an, it's a light. Like they were they smell like a sewer. Like they were used paper towels that were put in the trash and then just taken out and dried. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> Why would you do that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, Proboscis. of what this hand looks like.
分かっちゃった。<笑>